Hey folks, it's Stefan here to let you know the characters that are going to be in my Pathfinder Adventure card game, Wrath of the Righteous series. We'll have three characters. The first character and the most popular in the voting is Anora, the female halfling arcanist. We'll take a look at her card just quickly. She has an intelligence of D12 with an arcane craft and knowledge based on that. Hand size of six. When you attempt a check to acquire a spell, you may use your knowledge skill in place of any listed skill. After you play a spell, you may recharge a random spell from your discard pile. Discard a spell to reduce cold or fire damage dealt to you to zero. And she is not allowed to have weapons or armor. So she's definitely a straight caster. And she gets six spells and a good mix of the other cards. The second character, who is also very popular in the voting, is Shardra, the female dwarf shaman. And she has a good constitution and a good wisdom with fortitude, divine, and knowledge on those. Hand size of five, proficient with light armors. When a character at your location would fail a check to defeat a bane, you may recharge a spell to allow that character to re-roll the check. That character takes the new result. When you succeed at a wisdom check, you may examine the top card of your location deck. Her favorite card type is a spell, and she'll have five of those along with five blessings. She's not allowed to have weapons at the moment. She could add them later. And she has the cohort Colo. And the final character is Imrijka, the female half-orc inquisitor. She has a good strength. She has d8s in dexterity and wisdom, as well as a range skill based on her strength and knowledge and divine based on wisdom. Hand size of five, proficient with light armors and weapons. You may recharge a card that has the Divine or Range trait to add 1d4 and the Divine and Magic traits to your check against a monster. When you defeat a monster on your turn, you may roll a d6 on a 4, 5, or 6 explorer location. Her preferred card type is a Weapon or Blessing, and she has 5 of each, and then she has a, a sprinkling of other card types. So that's the lineup for the Wrath of the Righteous series, which will be starting in the near future. Um, I have decided, however, that... I can't probably do two videos a week. I just the amount of time involved, uh, I don't have enough time to do it. I haven't quite decided how I'm going to change that. Uh, it will just be one video a week. I may alternate between Skull and Shackles and Wrath of the Righteous. I may just move to Wrath of the Righteous and have Skull and Shackles become a Twitch stream on Sunday nights. And I may also uh, just go to a, a shorter format for the videos. So... Give me some feedback in the comments as to what you'd like to see. You, know, you can watch the Skull and Shackles videos to see the way I'm doing it right now. I'm thinking of trimming those down so that you're really only seeing the main parts of the scenario, the big fights with henchmen and villains, uh, and then have some filler text in between there. Sort of like they do on Tabletop, where they move the game along more quickly so that uh, it's, you're not just watching every single play. And then basing this choice off my Google Analytics for YouTube are showing me that for the most part, people are not watching the entire video. And so I think bringing the length of the videos down will not only help me because it's less editing work, but it will also uh, be more interesting to people. You don't have to watch every single die roll and every uh, single encounter. So I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on that. If, if you like the format the way it is, that's good. If you think going to a new format is a, is a good idea, I'd, I'd like to hear about it. Any any feedback like that that you want to put on this video would be really greatly appreciated. Well, as I said, this will get started soon. I, I still have some scanning to do. I don't have the character add-on deck scanning yet uh, scanned in for this because I just had to do a bunch of scanning for the Skull and Shackles series. So a little bit more work to do for Wrath of the Righteous before that's ready to go. But thanks for watching this video, and I hope you'll enjoy the series when, when it starts up. And I will talk to you next time.